Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here. In this video I'll be doing a voiceover because I had problems with my audio. So let's get started. So what I'm showing you here is the collection for 2019 spring summer and I'm doing the blouse, the statement sleeve blouse. Um, I'm not going to be making any changes to this, I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm just hoping that the sleeves are going to be um, as voluminous, is that a word? <laughs> um, it's going to have a lot of volume to it as much as I need. Not too much though, I don't want it to be oversized, I just want it to, to be just about right. So what I'll be showing you in this section is the pattern drafting for the sleeve. I'm not going to show the whole blouse, I'm just going to show you this, the, the sleeves because it is about the sleeves more than it is about the whole construction of the blouse. Um, I drafted around my sleeve block. Um, it's like a template and a basic template that allows you to create as many different kinds of sleeves. So for this particular style of sleeve, um, I had to flare the top, the bottom of the sleeve in order to get the volume and also I want to um, soft gathers at the top as well. So the technique was roughly about the same. So this is what you call a working pattern. So I'm showing you the how I work in order to produce my patterns. I'm focusing on the top section of the sleeve. So this is where I've divided it into four equal sections and then I'm going to open it out to allow for a little volume for the head of the sleeve and also to allow for some gathering as well. So moving down to the bottom section of the sleeve, I've divided it up into eight sections and that will allow me to get a lot of volume to the bottom of the sleeve. So that will be spread open and that will also be equal amounts and that will allow for the volume of the sleeve and from this stage I will be ready to do a pattern in paper. But I'm just going to focus on doing this as my pattern for making a 12. So here we are now with me trying on the sample, the twirl of the sleeve. Um, yeah, I just quickly just whipped off about half of my top and um, just showing you the sleeve. And I'm so happy with the result. I'm so happy with the amount of volume that's towards the bottom of the sleeve. Um, as you can see there, I have the cuff and I've got the right amount of gathers to the top. So now you are seeing the pattern. This is the twirl. So I know that it's fitting the way I want it to fit. I've got all the markings that needs to be on there. I've also put the pattern pieces of a previous blouse that, I've, um, that I made. So I didn't really have to do a new body section to this blouse. And so I've now cut out the pattern pieces and I'm showing you each one of the pattern pieces. So we've got the front, we've got the back and also the facings. So, and there are the cuffs. And that is going to be the tie belt for the blouse. And there I'm just showing you that I'm be using the French seam method in order to construct this blouse. That will give me a neat clean finish on the inside of the blouse which is what I'm looking for. And that is the cuff. So that is finished. The cuffs are cut on the bias as well, so it enables me to get my hand in and out quite easily. The sleeves are finished. Um, I just need to remove the gathering stitch and yeah, happy, happy with the result of the sleeves. So what I do is I sew in sections. So I would have made sure that the cuffs would have been completed, then the sleeve, and this is the tie belt. Well, I'm showing you the top of the sleeve there where I've gathered the top of the sleeve and I'm also showing you what it looks like with the cuffs being sewn on and then I'm moving on to the tie belt and they also did a French seam to that as well so this is where the French seam is on the inside and I'm showing you here where the French seam is on the outside so what I did I just turned out half of it so I could show you And the next section is the body of the blouse. So this is the front. And 
I'm showing you the inside of the French seams. All nice, clear, clean look to this blouse. I wanted that because it's quite transparent, so I wanted to make sure that the inside was nice and clean and neat. So in order to finish off the raw edge to the facing, I used fabric glue and then I trimmed it away because that will stop it from fraying. I didn't want any kind of double folded seam or, you know, I just wanted a clean look. So that is what I did. I experimented with a little piece first and then, yeah, I was happy with the way it's turned out. So this is the bottom hemline of the blouse and what I did was hand sew that. I didn't want any top stitch and I just wanted that clean look throughout the whole of the blouse. And that is the back facing. So it's a grown on facing to the front and a back facing to the back which is a separate piece. So now I'm showing you the section where I've now added the sleeves and the back facing and I am happy the way it's turned out. It really is a pretty blouse. I think I made the right choice with the design I chose for this. And those are the cuffs. And I haven't pressed those down. I, I just wanted that looseness to the cuff so it's not crisp and clean. And I'm just showing you the inside here. And it also did a French seam to the armhole as well. Um, that was okay. It didn't, there, there wasn't much. There wasn't any difficulty in that. I thought there may have been with the gathers, but um, no. I managed to get it as nearly as possible, and that was kind of really trimming down to the stitch line as much as possible. And um, I didn't do that with the neckline. I double stitched it. And um, yeah, and I nipped into it just a little bit. If there was any issue, it probably was just at the shoulder point where I'm pointing at now, yeah, where it's a little bit fullness in there, trying to take away as much as possible. But that is because um, of the French seam that I did along the shoulder line. And there you can see the right side of the blouse um, where I've hand sewn the hemline. And that there is the tie belt so that I pressed. And yeah. The project is complete. This voiceover has been a little bit of a challenge, but now it's time for me to show you how I'm going to style the blouse. So this is me modeling the top, and I'm super happy. I've been saying that throughout the video, but yeah, I really am happy that it worked, the pattern worked, the, um, the fabric worked, the design, and I teamed it with white pants that I made some time ago and I've accessorised it with some pearls as well and I'm just really happy with the result and the way it has actually turned out and the belt keeps it together as well and the softness of the gathers on the shoulders is just the right amount 